Oh, where you watch? Look where you watch. No, where you watch. Choose the right thing to watch. And this enough to watch. Sticky Stucky Sweet TV with Keith Gargan, Facebook and YouTube. And that enough to watch. The movie star flight take off from Pelper Time TV. So that. Boom. A big sound of a big tune. Ja all is Emmanuel I woe Ja Gideon I'm a Gideon The Gideon I'm a Gideon The Gideon I'm a Gideon Well, Gideon go bustin' out the mat Again, so much oppression Poor people face right now Them crying out for freedom Them crying out for free speech Then, said them want to stand up Like them black liberators Like Malcolm X and Martin Luther And the ancient monarchy Where come pay of the way, sir Free up black people from me Tear down them fence, yeah Gideon, I'm a Gideon The Gideon, I'm a Gideon the Gideon, I'm a Gideon, well The Gideon go bustin' out the mat I listen, I see, I, the power of the Trinity Give us the teaching of His Majesty And we know war, not every... Blue, Mr. Gargan, blue Blue till me dance up me toe This is Sticky Stucky Sweet TV with Keith Gargan. Good, healthy food with the X Factor. So give it a like, share, subscribe, and touch up that notification bell. And that is it. Look at that. Can you come back in line and go into the office? But PMP, them, them old firm people. I'm glad for that, you know. I'm glad to see that. You know what I mean? And then I'm taking to the street. And boom, boom, boom. That must. Backfire for Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Wallace. Yeah, man, and his wife and all of them teeth there. Members. 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 Deliver me from my enemy, my God. Set me an eye from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. Save me from the bloodthirsty men. For the holy lion wait for my soul. The mighty gather themselves together against me. Not for my disobedience. Not for my sin, Father. I have done no wrong. Yet they are ready to attack me. Rise up, the old, and help me. You, Lord God of Armour, the God of Israel, rose yourself to punish the nation. Show no mercy to the wicked traitor, Sila. At They return at evening, only like dogs and prowl around the city. Be all they spat with their mouth, so they in their lips, for they say, Who art us? But you, Lord, laugh at them, you scrub of all the nation. Oh, my strength, I wish for you, for God is my eye tower. My God will go before me with his loving kindness. God will let me look at my enemy in triumph. Right there, sir. Don't kill them or my people may forget. Scatter them by their power and bring them down, Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them be catching their pride. For the causes and lies which they utter. Consume them in wrath, consume them and they will be no more. Let them know that God rules in Jacob to the ends of the earth. Selah. At evening, let them... Return, let them hold like a dog and go around the city. They shall wander up and down for food and wait all night if they ain't satisfied. But I will sing of your strength. Yes, I will sing a load of your loving kindness in the morning. For you have been my eye tower, a refuge in the day of I, of I and I distress. To you, my strength, I will sing praises for God is my eye tower. The God of my mercy, Selah. Up. And running up and gunning, sticky stucky sweet TV, key gargan, cassava, passava, man over matter, up and running. Yes, people, people, right now, Mr. Something come um, really reveal yesterday in a parliament with Mark Golden budget response speech, okay? Right, and we can't believe my eyes. And as Andrew Stephen. Would say bangarang if you use a word of what I say. Yeah, man, bangarang. This is more than bangarang because boy, this no look good. And right now, when we see it though, it backfire upon the JLP 
and the unruliness anyway. Because believe you me, the man um, responded to the budget speech and everything was good and thing like that. But it looked like them really throw them quiet and thing like that when the man licked them with, it, with argument and licked them with argument and thing like that. And everything was there. But them feel like I think they was waiting for, for this, you know, for no so well then. Once him start to touch that six and corruption, then I then I don't want to like that, you know. But anyway, the man just start the things the right and you walk now. Them walk out and to get up and he can't take it because the man told it truth because his wife could be, should never be a speaker without a vote. Any speaker, in other words, even looking at the other in America, when I try to vote um, for our speaker, look at all the, uh, was three weeks to take to come to a decision. The man has to pick up somebody and so them are our speaker. That man who won't go to jail, you know, believe you me. In church, I don't really want to cuss now in church. tell you something, man. I want to bore some wool and drill some wool in this now. Right? He can't just talk to his wife and say, well, then he, he my pine therapy our speaker. He my pine chief our speaker. He my pine Google Gaga. Nobody no vote for him. He's not a police. Nobody no know him. How would you ask stuff for I go on, man? And this man I want to just go and get rid of like that. When I tell me I talk about my goal and too soft, you know. For a long time, you know, because I'm doing a lot of shit, you know. I'm mean, say he's not the right man for the job. I'm not continuing to do that. But right now, he may come out and he may clad shoes. And be like, oh, he may really have the now. Because, yeah, let me tell you something, man. He pick up a speed. Or, well, I mean, I don't know how gear him change, you know. But he change some rest clad gear. Because soon as the man reach, everything was good, you know. After my real beat with pints and things like that, you know. But from the start to touch corruption with him wife, a pinted. You can't do that. Only Jamaica that can't happen. And that's true, and, and, and the facts. Make all the other way around. I see what will happen. Them people so brawling, you know. Them have everybody on them side. This money a pint, the Google Gaga, Anthony Anderson, a clown. And pay him much, 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 much millions and raise him pay as well and crime go up. <laughs> so him, him get raised up pay for him failure. <laughs> failure. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you something you now. But you have now. Back on track with the right thing. Personally, when we see the brother walk out, you know, me I say, oh gosh, man, what, what gonna happen now? And then you have this guy by name Everett Walmerton, shove him out. He come back to the door and start to trace like a girl. <laughs> and yet, that's why I say that back and belly rat, you know. The whole of them, you know. You see how that dear this boy and him, um, Winston Ennings, when he when you see him resign, say so resign from the arm, you know, come back, because he can't disrespect. And in less than 24 hours, he fall back in like <laughs> That's what you call a big, dirty back and belly rat, you know. I saw them steer. And this boy, uh, one will turn now. The, the Prime Minister get rid of him, you know. Well, I scan to them and say, fire him. And they dismiss him. And him come out and attack. So, well, then, the Prime Minister can't want him to really campaign for third terms. If he never, if he can't um, want him in the government, <laughs> why am why, why I going to want him to campaign for the third term with him? And he might try to play hard. And now he come back again and trace for the Prime Minister. If this guy have any drop off any dignity in him. He will not keep him, him like a quiet, himself quiet. Come back and trace like a girl through the door. But anyway, when I try to say people, I never expect this. I never expect this. Fifth fi, fi gone so low. He might talk, Prime Minister, that dead at all about low. Low. I him low. That brother don't have no sense now. But how they make them, 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 them this guy be a Prime Minister, people? And give him another term. And anyway, by election, he spend a lot of money, a lot of shit are going on anyway. You know, really, you know, you know just the first election when we win, I was about um, a small percentage of people vote. Him not no mandate or nothing. So you see, that's how Jamaica run from 2016. Right? And them, them do them, them, them try them, them, them best now and, and do something and win the next election by falls. Well, two of them he win by falls. First, he call the election a COVID. When people are die, and make people make more people die, and him get rid of it. You come and call a snap ele election. 
and believe you me. I don't know, but you know, something not right. But anyway, it, this one a backfire upon them. Big, big time. Because Marky G take it to the street. And that me I talk about from long time. Take it to the street, you know. And him, and and they say it look good. Yeah, finish up his feature this one. Because them checks say, well then, they gonna do that and he was just gonna be the end of it. Right? But it don't work like that. It backfire upon them big, big, big time. You know what I mean? That's why you say, God say, you know, he move in mischievous way, you know. And this is the thing. They're never looking for this. No, we are telling was looking for this. So, well, then, then we just walk about it. And then they might talk about low, low. Because they might tell the truth about the corruption and the, the six teeth in cunts them. And all farts them. Right? And I want to really. I'll, well, I mean, I know, you know. Then they might point him wife to be a speaker. Nobody will vote on it. How can a democracy um, control like that? And things are well then. You might do things and things them can't get away with you and come out a ball out low, low, because the man that touch the six, I touch him wife to be appointed when it should be a vote. That can't be law. That's facts. Democracy can't be law. But they, they can't take it, they don't like it. And easy the captain for the ship now. He can't take it because a lot of, lot of things they find him head, you know. A Mark Golden said something up on the street. Say, well, then, if he was like him, he would not take himself. <laughs> so, yeah, that letter, that's bang of rank of people. So, anyway, it backfired upon them. Big, big time. Because they never know, say, well, then, Mark is going to take it to the street. And we're glad to see that, you know, because you all know me, I called for that long time, you know. We do a bit, well, we do a lot of most of the video, long time video, we do. Me I talk about that long time when we used to beat Mark Golden. Come to um like I'm just him to him to lay back. But me I talk about that long time. We do a video last time with um Karen Cross. Right? I'm gonna talk that on my video say what Mark Wall is supposed to do and him 14 MP or the 14 of them or whatever. Don't sit in the parliament, dissolve parliament parliament, walk out on them. I said I'm not sitting in the parliament till them near me six. Cause some pressure if it was any big country like England or America, that would not happen. But where, 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 and walk out, and then the nastiness them follow him, follow behind him, woman and man. I'm never call him woman and man, you know. Girl and boy, follow behind him. And then this one, uh, back and belly rat, April Warmington now, come back, and I trace like a girl. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something, man. In a sight to be in a, in a public parliament, you know, where people supposed to put them trust on these people uh, to run a country and it's like a patty shop and Andrew Wallace will do it and you know <clears throat> me not understand but what, what, what me see in this and what me take from this is backfire upon them big 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 time yeah man because you know Mark G take it to the street very angry and you want to see them out of crowd or gather, gather so quick quick quickly quick <laughs> Quickly, you know what I mean? So you see, they are quilling them boots right now, you know, people. May I tell you that? Because they make a sad mistake. And it's going to be a big thing. And they might dig them fucking own grave, believe you me. Them, big, them digging them own grave. Slowly but surely. Because this is a big bang around, as Andrew Stephen will say. Take something from where him slang, you know what I mean? Bang around. Yeah, man, because this is more than bang around. Because a lot of shit won. You know what I mean? And you know, they come with a section, it's about section five and seven. Say so if um because the man they won't continue him speech, you know, but it's like them lock off the mic. Yeah, because something like that. You see, it backfire upon them. Them lock off the mic or something. And then the deputy the deputy idiot speaker, that little boy them and look like. Come on, cause them them are uh, corruption, you know. And I talk about um 
if, it, if some section of say I can't remember about five what but you know hear it anyway in the video. No, no, um, once you have a certain amount of people, the parliament can go on. So that that's that what they most trying to do. For them come back in line and go into the office. But PMP them them all firm people. I'm glad for that, you know. I'm glad to see that. You know what I mean? And then them take it to the street. And boom, boom, boom. That must backfire upon Andrew, Andrew Wallace. Yeah, man, and him wife and all of them teeth. Eh? And the come below them. You know what I mean? And right now, as I'm saying, I said this from a long time. A lot of video. But the, 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 the latest one, or the last one, was um, a video I do with Karen Cross. I mentioned it in the same Karen Cross video. I said, look, what the PMP is supposed to do, and Mark Wallen, as a leader, is don't sit in the house with them. Because once you have six teeth in it, don't sit in the house with them. You know what I mean? That's what I say, you know. Just take it to the street. Just like what I'm doing right you now. When the parliament on the street and just on the campaign on the street. I see one say, when you don't know, do, do, do that, people, them can't go with no business because they just read out the section. So, well, in one section five and section seven, there's no parliament can keep, <laughs> right? So, that's the one I tell you, you know. It's a banger on this. It's a banger on. We said that already. You know, one, in a more than one, two, three, four video. Me always say them things. Eh? And you have this guy, Mardi, Marvin Edgar. Edgar when you Edgar? Yeah. Marvin Edgar. That look you the from where he come from. Clarendon. He was a Andrew. He, well, he's a guest for Andrew Stephen. Part of your TV. Anyway. And. I would have done to it. Because he used to be one of the um, part of the UIC. He said the same thing. But me, I said that long time before him. Let that thing me, I say, you know. And you see right now, but the one thing I like, you know. Mark never do what me, I say, you know. But Andrew do it for him. So now him learn something. Because if you don't listen to my video, I hear my video and hear this um, advice I gave from a long time. So well, then he, them shouldn't come out there, walk out of the parliament and don't sit, sit with them. In the parliament, don't sit with them. And I know circumstances. Right? Because of my teeth. You can't sit sit with two with, with six teeth. Where, 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 where you don't know who, who. So you can't be prime minister. Can't unite him wife. Can't unite. You don't know the six teeth around you. And you with a and I'm honorable. Nah, no, man. Come out and this and we have to come out from them. Yeah. You come out from them, pan away. Yeah? You can't go wrong. You think we're going to crumble like a crumble cake. <laughs> Trust me. So you see. I just that me glad for to see Andrew all this time started to you know, I'm trying to do something good with the ignorance. Cause the guy is so ignorant and fool, you know. I think if you can run run a government like a tasty party shop or something, even a tasty party shop run better than that. Because at least the people that are working a tasty, the woman them them do a better job on and fucking um Andrew all this um Labour Party party parli parliamentary people them. Because the whole of them are crook. And the Sam, them traits like girl, you have the one named Desmond Mackenzie or the dead man Mackenzie. One of them come back and trace the one who named Delroy, chop the little liar's teeth in one. One of them in it together, and I don't know one who are teeth there, but what you see, that's why we have to do this now. Start to do the thing outside, do business outside with the people, them. Because the people we have to deal with, they don't deal with nothing, we have to keep parliament with these clowns and teeth, right? So, we are going on this video now. This is a small video first. So we can show you well then. This is a video from three months ago. So we can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I taught this already. So I'm going to go to um, I hope I hope you learn something from it. Well, even not from my video, but from what happened to yesterday when Andrew Wallace walked out. So them can do the same thing. Don't sit with them. I saw it so I say how quick the thing. I said they have to name the six. Them alone can't write it. Because we have this, that's a good excuse if you don't sit with them, you know. And the country is gonna be with you. Believe you me. No doubt about that. Yeah, man. So here goes. Watch this video from what we do from three months ago. A little clip of it when we are talking about the same thing. Say, Mark, you and your, your MP them supposed to dissolve parliament, walk out, don't sit with these people. 
till they name the six, put pressure upon them, and, the, and do the things outside, just like that. They can't just do a one hour every day, two hours up on the street, make people gather around and bang the same thing every day, bang the same thing every day. And when you when you wanna sit in parliament, <laughs> if gonna have, you go, people how is the solution, you know? Because as, as I'm saying, me is a politics fanatics and me watch politics over the world and me, 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 me study them things there. So let's go to this video and let's look on this video and see. And then we we'll go to the main video, people, with the bang around from yesterday. Because boy, it don't look good. Here goes. From when you hear talk, hear talk and them talk about the six, right? Illicit six. He should um, boycott parliament in one of the few MPs them, and lock it down till them, they, they, them name these six. And that's a sensible thing to do that you're not doing in any other country. And them couldn't do business by themselves. Pressure them, they call it pressuring, right? So them have to come out and they're to be a big talk. And them come out of parliament, come out and um, campaign out of road, and make people hear them voice. And we people who are black now would have bring to pick up a story and thing like that and say, if they have to come up with something and name these people. But you still sit in parliament with them. So that it wasn't a wise, 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 wise move at all. So, you know, but, you know, if you get into power, you must have access to these six. And Mr. Speaker, we will review the tax system affecting the energy sector to ensure that it incentivizes investments in efficiency and cost reducing replacement and expansion of the sector in keeping with our policy priorities to reduce Jamaica's carbon footprint. Making real change for our people requires much greater attention to water, roads, Absolutely. and works. The local government elections made this clear. Very clear. Very clear. All governance is about prioritization, mm -hmm. especially when resources are limited, and they're always limited. What governments prioritize determines the kind of society we're building, and it tells us what the future will look like. We believe that over the next decade, public capital expenditure must prioritize investments to improve the production, distribution, and harvesting of water and rehabilitating the minor road and farm road networks across Jamaica. Yeah. These are dominant demands yeah. of the people, and the yeah. government must answer to the people. Yeah. The National Water Commission, the NWC, purports to supply 73% of the population with water, which means that over 25% of our population is not served by the public water supply system. And private water companies don't close that gap in communities where the NWC is not providing water. That's what they say. There needs to be a, a major thrust to build connectivity among the network of pumping stations and other elements that make up Jamaica's water supply system so that water can be efficiently distributed from where it is abundant to where there's a lack of supply. And that requires achieving a high level of cohesion among the various state agencies that have responsibility for different aspects of the system. And we have to focus on achieving that. It is unacceptable that slightly over $1 billion is slated for water supply projects this year, given the water storage issues that we've been facing over the last several years and anticipated droughts with climate change and the constant cries of the people for water. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the NWC has made announcements of a plan to develop 577 acres in Norbrook, a watershed area at that. One really has to worry about their, oh, wonder about their priorities. We welcome the public-private partnership that was announced, that is to, we're told, will supply 15 million gallons a day from St. Catherine to serve the Kingston metropolitan area, Portmore, and Spanish Town as long as the commercial terms are fairly balanced to protect the public. We don't want a sweetheart deal at the expense of the public. This project is slated to begin in 25-26, i.e. a year out from now, I believe, according to the Public Investment Program. One is left to wonder why it's taking three years since the agreement was signed to start the work on such an urgent project. But what of pipe water to the rest of Jamaica? Yes. And what of plans to secure our natural water resources across Jamaica? Yes. 
in an era of intensifying climate change. The last, I move to roads. The last three decades have witnessed significant investment in the development of highways. And that was a good thing. Absolutely. North Coast Highway Project, yes. Highway 2000, the North-South Link, yes. and South, Southern Coastal Project, and so on. Yes. In the meantime, interior roads, yes. community roads, yes. on which most of our people have to drive on a daily basis yes. are in an appalling condition. Yes. Project Spark is an effort to start addressing this problem. But we have serious doubts as to the approach that's being taken, given our negative experience with the constituency allocation of for roads in 2022, which many MPs have reported are still yet to come through. The last PNP administration established a secretariat for Jeep with the technical personnel to efficiently drive the infrastructure projects executed under that program and to ensure proper accountability for the expenditure under the program, which was a great success. We commend that model to the government so that... We don't want Project Spark to burn out without achieving significant improvement, improvement to the minor road network. Mr. Speaker, I move to health and wellness. There are several green papers, audits, and reviews within the Ministry of Health and Wellness that clearly outline the dilapidated state of the public health system. Even without resorting to these sources, there is a travel advisory issued by the U.S. State Department advising of the poor state of our hospitals and the prohibitive costs associated with accessing private health care. And this is borne out by the constant cries of the users of the public health system yep. and the frustration of the healthcare providers themselves, often manifested in industrial unrest and protests. And even now, there are murmurings of unrest in some sectors of the health service. One therefore has to wonder what guides the priorities for expenditure in the annual budget for the Ministry of Health and Wellness. With a capital budget of $11 billion, nearly twice that of education, one would expect clear efforts to decrease inefficiencies, to improve the overall experience of accessing the public health system, and to address the major health threats affecting Jamaicans. However, these major threats of chronic non-communicable diseases, such as diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and cancer, have been, to an extent, sidelined in favor of massive spend on infrastructure concentrated in three hospitals. The massive cost overrun in the Cornwall Regional Hospital yes, will go down as the greatest really? project cost variation in the history of Jamaica yes. at a staggering 1,100%. Yes. Never before has any Jamaican alive or dead seen a project move from an estimated cost to completion of less than $2 billion and end up costing more than 10 times that amount at over $20 billion. Yes. And this figure is expected to rise further yeah. as the completion date is pushed farther away. And the only person who predicted it accurately was Murray's guy, yeah. the member for Central St. Mary. It is telling that no one has been held accountable for this debacle. The Minister of Health has been bemoaning the lack of local expertise in hospital construction but he's nevertheless decided to begin the construction of two new facilities at the UHWI and Spanish Town. We wonder what the logic is behind that when the English-speaking Caribbean's largest community of Portmore still doesn't have a public hospital. And when the, rest, the Western region is still struggling without a fully operational Cornwall Regional Hospital. And when the major parishes are without a facility that has basic diagnostic equipment and in major urban areas, there's an economically unsound reliance on using private facilities for public patients, transported in scarcely available amb ambulances. With this budget, users of the public health system will continue to suffer from prolonged waiting times, overcrowded emergency rooms, inadequate hospital beds, and overworked and demotivated staff who can't wait for the next recruiter for a way out. Like the census, immunization rates are well below target. 
and the maternal mortality rate is at its highest level in over 50 years. The maternal mortality rate in Jamaica is at the highest, its highest levels in over 50 years. No budgetary changes to, to deal with these problems. Mr. Speaker, something is wrong here. I move to housing, land, and sustainable living. Land and shelter remain important national priorities. On the minds of hardworking Jamaicans is a question. Will they ever be able to enjoy the security of being able to own a piece of land or a house? Using data from the 2022 Voluntary National Review Report of the 2030 Agenda and the SDGs, we know that in 2019, over 100,000 fewer Jamaicans rented or lived in their own home than in 2007. 100,000 fewer Jamaicans. 30% of households were either living rent-free with the owner's consent, what Jamaicans would call catching, or they were occupying premises without the legal owner's consent. That represented an increase of 10 percentage points over the preceding decade. If you live in a major urban center, you are most concerned about the fact that the price of, a, of housing built under this JLP government is out of reach for most people. Shelter is one of the basic needs of our people. In the Jamaican historical and socioeconomic context, it requires a proactive policy by the state to provide affordable housing for our people. The People's National Party understands this. It is what motivated us to develop Portmore, the largest residential community in the English-speaking Caribbean, and so many other major schemes, Harbour View, Mona Heights, Frontier Heights, and a plethora of other housing developments across the island. It is why, in 1976, the most honorable Michael Manley established a National Housing Trust to provide a housing, affordable housing for Jamaicans. It is why the most honorable P.J. Patterson, in the 1990s, established a program called Operation Pride to provide land and housing for citizens, which, despite its challenges, delivered over 50,000 titled lots for people in Pines of Karachi, Mount Edgecombe, Melrose Mule, Bedward Gardens, Bel Air, and a host of other communities. And similarly, the most honorable Portia Simpson Miller embarked on an initiative to remove barracks housing and provide houses for sugar workers to live in dignity. In stark contrast, this government has built a mere 200 social houses, one one dege dege since 2016, a paltry average of 25 housing units per year. And it presided over the demolition of poor people's houses in Clifton and St. Catherine and sought to evict 65 settled families from their homes in the widest Vale. In truth and in fact, the cost of housing is out of reach to ordinary Jamaicans, with a two-bedroom unit on the market costing over $20 million, while the NHT only provides up to $9 million to a contributor to purchase a home. The NHT has been financially weakened by the government's continued extraction of $11.4 billion every year to finance the budget of the government since 2016. After the 2013 to 2016 IMF program ended, we had put that in place for four years, when we had a mountain of debt to get Jamaica out of, and we had a very high primary surplus target. It was never supposed to be extended. The, de the recent decision to require NHT contributors earning over $31,000 a week to borrow from private financial institutions flows from that extraction of resources for so many years now since this government came to power. And whereas contributors to NHT uh, have been charged interest rates of 5% by the NHT. Private financial institutions are, are charging around 9% now. And the NHT is having to subsidize those private financial institutions for the difference in those rates. And that's going to further weaken the institution. Jamaica needs change. And we are on the road to change. We recognize that the police, the soldiers, the teachers, the nurses, civil servants, young professionals need access to affordable housing. So that must be the road to change. And some of our proposals include, we will repurpose the NHT to ensure that it focuses on the building of affordable housing. 
We will end the extraction of $11.4 billion a year from the NHT for the government's budget and put this money into building affordable houses for our people. We will provide targeted and well-designed incentives for developers to get into the construction of affordable housing so that more of our population can afford to acquire a home using their NHT benefits. And we will complete the unfinished Operation Pride schemes so that the residents enjoy the full benefits of what was started for them. And we will launch a new program based on a similar concept, but with a robust and transparent accountability structure to tackle the deep problem of informal settlements across Jamaica and bring dignified housing in organized communities to our citizens. Mr. Speaker, I move to the issue of good governance because it is the second pillar of the road to change, good governance. When it comes to governance, one thing is certain. Things cannot be allowed to remain the way they are now. That is why I have identified an entire cluster of portfolios within our own governance structure to address the now desperate area of transparency and accountable governance. And this is where change, change is truly required. I move to the focus on social justice first. A robust social justice agenda is necessary for achieving high levels of inclusive, sustainable economic growth. If Jamaica is to become a socially cohesive society that moves away from negative behaviors and attitudes that undermine our mission to achieve national greatness. Deepening social justice is an important part of this objective, and I'm going to give you some of our proposals. We will implement a progressive beach access policy to ensure that the public has reasonable access to Jamaica's beaches, as is done in other Caribbean islands that also enjoy a strong tourism industry. Beach access is important for our people's recreation and leisure in a stressful world. This is no small thing given the levels of violence and stress in this society. We will work with all stakeholders, including communities which have historically used beaches for recreation and fishing, and also tourism interests, to secure appropriate rights of access for the public to be able to enjoy our beaches. And if necessary, we will lose legislation to protect the public's interest in having reasonable beach access while protecting the legitimate commercial interests of business owners. This is not an issue which a state can just stand back and leave as is. Time come. While we endorse the raising of the threshold for the income tax on pensions, the truth is that our pensioners are really struggling and much more is needed to be done for them. Administrative changes to facilitate the speedy commencement of pension payments to retired em employees is impatient of the day. They have to wait for extended periods before they can start getting their pension. And we have other creative proposals for expanding pension benefits to relieve the suffering of our pensioners, which I will share on another occasion. We will complete the outstanding review of the Domestic Violence Act and move quickly to implement the recommendations arising from that review. And our intention is to establish support centers in every parish to provide safe havens for survivors of domestic violence yeah, and other yeah. gender-based yeah. gender violence. Yeah. We will enact legislation to empower the public defender yeah. to bring legal proceedings, which yeah. he can't currently do, yeah. to defend the rights of vulnerable Jamaicans yeah. and expand the scope of the office of the public defender yeah. to become a national human rights institution yeah. to monitor and report on Jamaica's performance in respecting the rights of our citizens. That institution, I had done all the preparatory work for that as Minister of Justice. Eight years later, nothing has happened. We will complete the long outstanding process of enacting legislation to enable Jamaica to accede to the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court, which is a missing element in the current accountability framework. I had started that process as well. I don't hear nothing about it. We need to have accountability for the most dire forms of crime that leaders can commit. We will expand the legal aid system 
in partnership with the legal profession to include constitutional and civil matters so people can get help to access their rights in important areas of their lives, including property matters, estate matters, personal injury cases, and employment matters. We will support the MSMEs, micro, small, medium-sized enterprises, and startups, so that formalizing their businesses is attractive, welcoming, and easy. Absolutely. We have a model for special economic zones of incentives. What about the SME sector? Why shouldn't they get a similar ecosystem of benefits to encourage people to formalize and, and start businesses? We will do that. We will not legislation to require the banks to provide a minimum suite of basic financial services to customers without charging fees. And that their cost of doing that will be treated as part of the annual cost of having the privilege of operating a bank and their licensing. And we will enforce minimum service standards to ensure that customers have ready access to ATMs to withdraw and deposit money, especially in underserved areas where banks have been closing branches. Time come to protect our people who are not being served adequately by that, the banking sector. And we will use the legislation governing Ganja to create a special ecosystem for the Rastafari community. Yes. And we want to economically empower the Rastafari community. And that is a matter close to my heart as the architect yes. of the PNP's 2015 decriminalization of Ganja. There are provisions in the law for regulations to be made to achieve that and they're not being used. Making change through social justice leads to a serious reconsideration of Jamaica's current place and standing in the world. Mr. Speaker, our international policy position centers on the principle of being good neighbors to all while maintaining our sovereignty and independence. That guides our relationship with the global family of nations. We steadfastly maintain the right to exercise independent judgment and make independent decisions based on the principles that we embrace. We will continue to work towards strengthening our relationships with the Global South, even as we maintain long-standing relationships with our traditional partners. Right. Our trade with the African continent and its large and rapidly expanding economies remains very modest. Yes. The top five economies in terms of growth are South Africa, Nigeria, Egypt, Algeria, and Ethiopia. And we have long historic con connections with the fast-growing economies of Ghana and Sierra Leone. There are therefore tremendous opportunities for us to build out new trade and investment linkages with Africa. Yeah, yeah. Jamaica needs to stop dithering and ratify the historic 1.5 billion US dollar agreement between CARICOM and the African Exim Bank. And we are committed regionalists. So the dire situation in our close neighbor Haiti is of great concern to us. We commit ourselves fully to engagement in the regional efforts associated with that crisis and to reasserting Jamaica's constructive leadership role within CARICOM that has been allowed to atrophy over the past eight years. A progressive, principled foreign policy delivers real positive change for our people. The Petro Caribe oil financing arrangement and the San Jose Accord, which finance Portmore, are striking examples of what a progressive, principled foreign policy has done for our people in the past under the People's National Party. And that is what we are committed to locally and globally. Mr. Speaker, change at the national level must focus on good governance. In this modern era of pervasive information sharing and communications, good governance is increasingly essential to maintain the people's trust and confidence in our democracy. Citizens are demanding that their leaders uphold the highest standards of accountability, transparency, and trustworthiness. All the measures that I've outlined for implementation will only be possible if we change the approach to governance that now exists. I'll leave you with the ways, means, quality, and spirit of the change in governance that we commit to. And good governance isn't just a set of ideals. It is the foundation upon which an equitable and just society can be built. Yeah. The People's National Party has always been committed to fulfilling these ideals, and we will translate these principles into tangible actions that uplift and empower 
every member of our society. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, we are in an increasingly low trust environment. Since the JLP government came to office in 2016, no less than eight ministers have been forced to resign or have been otherwise sanctioned for a range of serious breaches, and Jamaica continues to rank poorly on international corruption indices. The move in 2020 to take away the chairmanship of most parliamentary committees from the opposition has weakened that mechanism of holding government to account. The maneuvers to delay the tabling of reports from the Auditor General and the Integrity Commission remains a contentious matter, especially since the legal opinion on which this delay is purportedly based has been withheld from parliamentarians Shame. and the wider public. Shame. When the former Speaker was forced to resign as, re as a result of an Integrity Commission investigation, the, the move to replace her with the wife of the Prime Minister, so that the Head of Parliament is now the spouse of the Head of Government, really does not sit well with the tradition that the Speaker must act independently of the Government of the day. The speaker, the speaker is intended to be independent and must act independently of the government today. That is the tradition. That is the, that is the tradition. The failure. The failure. The failure. Mr. Speaker. Members. 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 the so-called illicit six MPs. The failure to disclose the identity of the so-called illicit six MPs who are under investigation by the Integrity Commission for Me Illicit member, Enrichment member, remains... Member, member. At this time, at this time, there is by number. I will not continue in this. So I'm asking members to be quiet. Thank you. Section 7 of the Standing Orders of the House of Representatives of Jamaica says, the quorum of a house 
and of a committee of the whole house shall consist of 16 members beside the person presiding. If at any time during a sitting of the house objection is validly taken by any member that there is not a quorum present, the person presiding shall direct members to be summoned, and if at the end of five minutes a quorum be not present, he shall adjourn the house without question put. If at any time during a sitting of committee of the house and the house subject, and I read section two, subsection two of, of section seven, and as it stands, I am now summoning members to, to come on, on, on the inside of the chamber, and we will wait. We will wait for the five minutes. Yes, so this is where just gone, people. This is the bangarang we just gone, as Andrew Stephen said, bangarang, that he used as slang. <laughs> That's where we are. Look at the house, people. Look at the house. Quiet after the Prime Minister walk out. Right? And it's like, um, so this is what I try to say. Now, this is the same people who take 300% pay rise for themselves. <laughs> so that's why I take Jamaica people be idiot. This is the people you know, who take 300 and all uh, different percentage, high percentage for them very slam or salary. And look what they do. To Jamaican people, you know, poor Jamaican people, him. and that's why I look here you know, and I say, boom, boom. You see, all die out till labor right, they want to shoot with shit. And then I uh, take back my talk, you know what I mean? Seriously talking because you have now. I don't talk about the real labor right, them, but I will, you know, because you have good labor right who, who vote labor right, you know, but when you see the truth, because anybody can vote, it only way they want to vote. There's nothing. We can't hate them people, but what we don't like is a dieted one them who really all when the people are doing wrong. And, 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 and then in a different segment, we have to come and involve Vegas in it too. Because him is one little um, sneaking, I don't know if you call him, you know, him. Because other day in contact about him, want Andrew get the, first, the third term. And Andrew and my blap blap a flip flap and we don't know what he must say. If he must say nothing with his labor right government that do wrong, that means that, that guy will get some benefit from the labor right government, you know. Because me don't know but it's a tall the things that we see coming just like a bore wall. Bore wall in the things and drill wall. Because if he must go see come and talk through this right you now, because you have now. The parliament quiet right now. We have a little space, so I'm putting my two cents in this. So we are bringing Vegas involved in it because we talk some things from the um, Palestine war and Israel war, flip flop again. I played it, play it all the while, but I don't want to play it now. But he come out there and say, oh, he want Andrew to get the third term. <laughs> right? So I don't know. If a man like him, I mean, he used to respect him, you know, because I mean, check when he talk facts and talk of the truth. I mean, he used to, like, defend, you know, people who get abused, like, most of the kids and things like that. Right and lele. But now, this guy never see one thing with the Labour Party do, that do wrong, you know. And he want to support them for the third term. So he's a nasty Vegas. You may talk. And you must have get some benefit, good benefit from them. Because you say you're in a business, they are doing real estate and them things there. But you better mind yourself, you know, I tell you the truth. Because you can see you are different kekla fish. Better about internet. You can't put yourself with bounty killer. Bounty killer is support no pay at all. And bounty killer help people all the while with the foundation. We don't see you no foundation. We don't see you boss nobody. We don't see you talk about your richness where you have. And how do you get your richness? And when you come here, defend a labor right, thief in government, corrupted government, and you say, you're now um, Nesta Margaret, a friend. So you're all deep in it, brother. Yeah. So you say, that's all me I say. So people who listen to um, this deputy speaker, listen to the clause, what I'm saying. Right? What I'm saying, um, 
there are certain people parliament can't really go on if you don't have a certain amount of people in the parliament. So we want to see Mark Golden take these advice we might get right now. You don't have to take my advice, you know. Or Marvin advice, because Marvin taught the same thing. Because Marvin is a clever brother, right? Warrior, warrior like him, Andrew Stevens, same speed. I'm like, you see them youth, they come and push all the things. Because them youth, they're brighter than blood clot, um, even Andrew Wallace. Yeah, man. He may not know him get this job, yeah. But I just say, go on, him alone. A lot of people get things by false pretending, yeah, man. And that's all it is. But look at the parliament, people. Look at the parliament. When everybody was there, when Nigel Clark, I give him speech. They never walk out. They never interrupt them. Them do the right and the honorable thing. But this is a government, a ruling government, the ruling party. With his thinking and jewelness. Some of the class him. Frozy and jewelness. Walk out and talk about law. Law. What is law? Who can a law like you? If, if you something, if you know, involved and you have an integrity commission and they come out with a report and blah, blah, thing like that. And you don't want to name them and you gag, you minister them. So who law? Yeah, who law? So, you know, we have to look at what's going on, you know. And it's sad. It's sad. Shove, you look on shovel mode, warming town. You look on dead, dead man Mackenzie. Look on the one in him, Delroy Chucky Chuck. Well, in him, we call him Delroy Chucky Chuck. Delroy Old Bigfoot Chuck. You call him the old dino dinosaur. You know, come out and, and, and I come back. Come back. Them gone, you know, but they come back. <laughs> you have to clap them, you know. But not a good clap. This is a bad clap. Yeah, man. So I just say it go. So that is the thing for the dear people, and it's a really look good. But as I'm saying, it's backfire, and there's a lot more to come, but more to see. Strong up, yeah, man. It not really look good. It's sad. It not really look good. It's very, very sad. Yeah, man. So look at that. But we hear, you know, we want to see what's going to be in the headline tomorrow, and how them are going to come out and defend it. And we want to know who is going to ask them the question, why them do that, when that does not look good. They are professional. That is not demo democracy. Now, sir, that is, that, that, that is like not a, a really democracy, democratic country at all. Now, sir, Rosa Africa. Yeah, man. Rosa Africa, believe you me. Yeah, people. Anyway, so you go. Lots more to come. Mm -hmm. Look up on the cell wherever you may be and watching from. Give the video a like and a thumbs up because we have to try the best we do and see. As I'm saying around here, so with a wall bore, you know, and with a drill wall, with drill wall and things, with drill wall and things, bore wall and things, and that we had right now. But you know, the pump pint, man. So we're going to see what, what go on and the outcome still. Big up on yourself. Out. Yeah. Oh, clean up. All right. All right. Can you hear me though? Yes, I am. Yeah. The point I was making when the Prime Minister chose to walk out and was left the, the Parliament without a quorum. I think it's the first time this has ever happened in independent Jamaica. That in a budget speech, the opposition has been denied the opportunity to finish their presentation. And here I am assembled on Duke Street. I was near the end anyway, but there were some important points that needed to be made. And I'm going to continue. The point I made when they walked out was this. When the former speaker was forced to resign as a result of an integrity commission investigation, the move to replace her with the wife of the prime minister so that the head of parliament is now the spouse of the head of government does not sit well with the tradition that the speaker must act independently of the government of the day. That is a fundamental principle of the Westminster system of democracy. Yes. And it is protected in a number of ways. For example, in the United Kingdom, nobody runs against a speaker in an election. They make sure the speaker is elected because that person is supposed to be independent. So that, I think, that move to do what ha ha happened in our case here was inconsistent with that level of independence that's required. 
the failure to disclose the identity of the so-called illicit six MPs who are under investigation by the Integrity Commission for illicit enrichment remains a festering sore, only made, wor made worse by the Prime Minister's gag order on his own cabinet ministers from speaking publicly on matters to do with the Integrity Commission. The Prime Minister's statutory declarations of assets and liabilities and income have not been certified and published by the Integrity Commission for successive years. It is untenable for the head of government of Jamaica not to be in good standing with the country's Integrity Commission for a prolonged period. All I can say to him, and I would have said it to him if we were still in the House, all I can say if I were in your position, I would take with myself and hand over to someone else who is not compromised. <laughs> iconic global track superstar, the Honorable Usain Bolt, and many other in innocent investors were carried down in the scandalous SSL fiasco. And we can't hear anything about charges being brought against the culprits. I have been told that the DPP's office is pulling, is dragging their feet when there are a number of people that the Financial Investigations Division have, are seeking to bring charges against. In fact, in August last year, the Gleaner carried a report that, uh, from the FID that there were several persons that they were intending to move against with charges. That report is no longer on the Gleaner website, but I am told that the DPP's office is dragging their feet on this. The Kroll forensic report, which has cost taxpayers millions of dollars, was delivered to the government months ago. It must be released to the public so we can see what the findings are. Jamaica will not accept a cover-up of this shameful debacle which has tainted our country's reputation as a safe and well-regulated place for Jamaicans at home and abroad to save and invest. In fact, a commission of inquiry into this SSL scandal will be needed. Jamaica is crying out for change in this area. This is why I have identified an entire cluster of portfolios within our own governance structure to address the now desperate area of transparent and accountable governance. We must translate good governance principles into tangible action that restores trust and confidence in our leaders and preserves our cherished freedoms and democratic way of life. Change means no more hiding of the truth from Jamaicans. Change, change means no more deception in official public communication. Change means putting transparency and communication at the heart of good governance. It affirms that respect is due to those who elect governments and pay taxes. That's why we will implement a comprehensive strategy centered around engagement and accessibility. Our aim is to ensure that every voice is heard yeah. to bridge the gap between leadership and the people. This means holding town hall meetings, physical and virtual, to give every citizen a voice in the decision-making process. It means conducting community walks, listening to the concerns of our constituents and working together to find solutions. It means providing regular progress reports on projects and programs and keeping the public informed and involved every step of the way. Change means practicing accountability as a central principle of good governance. That's why after the terrible incident of the woman being beaten in public with a stool, I tabled an impeachment bill in the House of Representatives in 2021 to provide a mechanism to hold to account any parliamentarian whose egregious conduct brings his or her office into disrepute. Despite this having been a manifesto promise of this JLP government from the 2016 general elections, my impeachment bill has not been allowed to go forward to a joint select committee for wide stakeholder consultation and then be passed into law. They don't believe in accountability. When I entered the political arena, there were some entrenched ways of doing things. Making change happen requires a fresh approach. Things will be very different under my watch because I will tolerate none of it. The last PNP administration put local government in the constitution. 
we passed the three strategic laws to modernize the legal framework of local government in keeping with modern best practices. One of those laws, the Local Governance Act, makes provision in Section 18 for the recall of an elected mayor. And it may be, it may be initiated by a petition alleging a, a charge of gross misconduct or dereliction of duty, and it has to be signed by at least 25% of the registered voters in the city municipality. The next PNP government will institute a fair and balanced recall system for elected officials, both at the local government and parliamentary level, to deepen accountability and empower the voters with recourse where they are badly let down by whoever they elect to parliament. Change, change means not taking away the rights of the people of Portmore without proper consultations with them followed by a referendum to let them make the decision whether or not they want to give up their city municipality status and their right to directly elect their mayor, a right given to them by the People's National Party. Yes, 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 yes. Jamaica has spoken and the PNP has listened to the concerns of the people. We are offering solutions based on thorough research and consultation with the sta our stakeholders. We will embark on this journey together with the people towards a future where opportunity for advancement is not a privilege, but a right for all. We commit to good governance for the people of Jamaica, not as some abstract concept, but as a living promise fulfilled to every citizen of our nation. We are on a fast track on the road to change, and we invite all Jamaicans along this exciting journey in a spirit of hope for a better and brighter future for all our people. And I would have ended, thank you, Madam Speaker. But I won't end that way because I'm not in the parliament. I'm on duty with my parliament. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The trumpet has sounded, my countrymen all. Away from the slumber and answer the call. The torch has been lighted, the dawn is at hand. Who joins in the fight for his own native life? Land of my birth and place to be Loyal and faithful, true to thee A big sound of play, big tune Ja all is Emmanuel, I woe Ja Gideon, I'm a Gideon The Gideon, I'm a Gideon the Gideon, I'm a Gideon, well, Gideon go bustin' out the mat again. So much oppression, poor people face right now. Them crying out for freedom. Them crying out for free speech, then. Said them want to stand up like them black liberators. Like Malcolm X and Martin Luther. And the ancient monarchy will come pay of the way, sir. Free up black people from it, tell them them fence, yeah. Gideon, I'm a Gideon. The Gideon, I'm a Gideon. The Gideon, I'm a Gideon, well, the Gideon go bustin' out the mat. I listen to the CI, the power of the Trinity, give us the teaching of his majesty. And we know war, no devil philosophy, no tentacle level for man's skin is of no more significant, well, to the color of his eye. Remember all the war long in 1935. This is Sticky Stucky Sweet TV with Keith Gargan. Good, healthy food with the X Factor. So give it a like, share, subscribe, and touch up that notification bell. And that is it. Look at that.